What is up guys, welcome back to another pack opening. Today we have an amazing team of the week, really looking forward to opening packs today and keeping some FIFA points for 5 pack challenge this week. Some of you might be thinking when you're doing packing the jackpot yet again, this will be going up on my channel every week and so make sure you're around to watch that. Um, we have Van Persie, Sanchez, Levetsi and Lam and Townsend so a lot of players that will be going for quite a bit of coinage so I'm really hoping that we could pack an inform today that will be pretty amazing and also let me know in the comment section below what you guys get in your packs um, that would be pretty awesome and also don't forget to let me know who you want me to review from this team of the week first so if you guys are looking for coin check out UT coin trades uh, their link will be in the description and to begin with the patch I want to really talk about the patch today and focus mostly on the patch because it seemed oh we get Ramirez first pack that's a really awesome way to start off this episode Ramirez awesome awesome player and remember when this guy had like some stupid um like they had some stupid shooting stats in FIFA 13 but his shot was like so incredible um, let's pull him up for 1k and yeah I want to talk about the patch so many people are saying that fun it has been taken out uh, um, taken out of FIFA because of the patch they nerfed finesse shots when they never were the problem that's the only problem I have with the patch why did they nerf finesse shots when finesse shots weren't really even overpowered do you know what was wrong what is actually wrong in with FIFA 14 Ultimate Team is the goalkeeper's positioning. That's what I think is bad. Goalkeepers are still stupid even after the patch and their positioning when you're taking the finesse shot. That's what was broken. Why did they fix finesse shots or, or I shouldn't say fix but why did they ruin finesse shots when they were never a problem? So over the top balls is very very overpowered. If you actually spam through balls throughout the whole match you will actually you know get one through and you will score no matter how good a player's defending is you could always um, get one through ball in and if you have a pacey player he will get at the end of that and just score so it's really hard to defend pacey balls oh we get diamante wow these packs have been pretty good so let's discard a couple of players here and take the rest of the consumables and obviously take diamante play someone transfer list all right so the patch they've also nerfed headers but I can't really see a difference with headers to be honest with you guys they seem still pretty overpowered so not really much to mention about headers they still seem really ridiculously overpowered the only thing that um, I don't think they should have even nerfed headers because I, like I said headers weren't the problem again it's actually the the goalkeepers positioning they really need to fix goalkeepers in this game and their number one priority should be Xbox freezing um, so many p people can't play FIFA or can't even complete a game because of how much their Xbox freezes. This is pretty stupid and should be number one on EA's priority list and fix it ASAP. They shouldn't be focusing on gameplay changes. They should just, you know, focus fully on fixing the freezing problem and then they could just work on improving the game. But um, that's all there is um, about my opinion on the patch. It just isn't fun anymore. Um, I've been playing FIFA 14 Ultimate Team before the patch. I was playing it like so much because I was so like I was really enjoying it. But after the patch, it it was it's it's nowhere near as fun. So let me know your opinion on the patch and you know did you enjoy the game before the patch and how you enjoy the game after the patch? Do you still play it as much? This will be interesting to see in the comment section below. So. Um, these packs have been pretty good at the start. Oh, we get Kabul. Wow. Look at that. Let's quick sell this guy first before we look at Kabul. And we get 2,000 coins. These packs have been pretty awesome, to, 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 to be honest with you guys. We get Kabul, we got Diamante, and we got Ramirez. Really worth opening packs. Um, let's see. Do we get any more players um, that are worth you know selling for a lot of coinage? An inform, you know, Van Percy will be amazing to get. And we get... Uh, see when you skip the when you skip the pack, I feel that your luck becomes shitter. I just skip the pack and look what I get. Seventy nine Brazilian goalkeeper, pretty bad. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna open a couple more packs for you guys and then leave the rest of the FIFA points for five pack challenge later on this week. I'm really looking forward to that. Also, packing the jackpot. That's a pretty good series really looking forward to opening packs on the weekend you know why because we have to open 125k today and uh, not today sorry at, uh, during the weekend and 
Really hoping for an inform because I don't want to open 150k in the next episode. We get Fernand uh, Fernandinho. He will go for a bit. Let's pull him up for 500 coins or 450 and discard the rest of the players. I'm going to open one more pack for you guys. Hopefully we get an inform. Hopefully um, someone really valuable. Maybe Ronaldo would be pretty awesome to see. But, you know, who am I kidding? My 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 luck in these, in these packs is pretty shit. Here we go final pack of this episode who are we going to get are we gonna get anyone awesome we will not skip the animation feel that you know reduces my luck and we get the legend Zanetti we'll be keeping him too bad he's a right midfielder this time and we get Yilmaz as well so decent pack to end the episode let's put him up because I already have him and yeah don't forget to let me know who you would like me to review in the comment section below and who you got in your pack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as usual guys, I really hope you have a very nice day.